These are two Apple Macintosh PowerBook 170 laptops. Now I actually got these laptops for free from a fellow YouTuber, um, Matt S78MN, who kindly sent me these two machines for free along with some accessories for them. Now, before I go over these, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell you about them. Um, for one thing, neither of these machines has, have a working hard disk, unfortunately. Um, this one actually didn't even have a hard disk in it at all. And this one had a dead hard disk, which is actually right here. As you can see, this is a Connor drive, 40 megabytes. Um, the Apple EEPROM, of course, this is an Apple drive. And basically what happens when this drive spins up, it just goes like, makes a bunch of clicking sounds and it won't boot, of course, and the uh, Apple HDSC setup utility uh, doesn't detect it, so that drive is unfortunately dead. Um, so this one yeah, is in slightly worse condition than this one is. Um, this one actually has a bad LCD. It has um, the common tunnel vision problem that most of that uh, a lot of these machines have. And it also has a um, broken shift key for whatever reason. Um, now this one doesn't have a battery. Actually it had a battery, but that battery was completely shorted out and it wouldn't charge and wouldn't let the machine turn on while it was in. So obviously I had to take that out. So now I'm just going to go ahead and give you a quick overview of the systems. So, go ahead and close them both. As you can see, this one has a bit of sticker residue. This is the one in worse condition. Um, this one's in better condition and doesn't have as much um, cosmetic imperfections as this one does. So I'll go ahead and start on this side. Actually, I'll use this one instead. Just... Alright, so on this side, all we have is a single um, 1.4 meg super drive, which means it can read 800k and 400k disks as well as 1.44 meg um, high density floppy disks. On the back here we have a power uh, input, a modem uh, RS, uh, or RJ11 jack there, a HDI30 SCSI adapter there, an ADB port here, um, audio in and audio out, not sure which is which, it says on the top actually. So yeah, audio in and audio out. Um, this is the printer port, this is the modem port, um, and right here we have the interrupt and reset buttons, as well as the power button right here. Um, so on this side, we don't have anything except one of the other feet and the battery. Now, about this machine. This machine actually has a working battery. Unbelievable, isn't it? It still works. It lasts for about 20 minutes. I've tested it. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool, actually, that it has a, still has a working battery. I'm quite surprised at that. Obviously, the one in this machine didn't work, because it was all shorted out. Now, as you can see on this side, it's exactly the same. Now, on the back here, we have this weird thing that's kind of, like, stuck on. This is like a Kensington lock sort of thing adapter. Um, yeah, it's kind of ugly on the back here, but whatever. Um, right here we have the power input as on that one. All the same ports pretty much. Except on this side. You'll notice something. There's a DB15 display port here. Now this is actually a third party add-on. It was made by, I believe, Invisio Technologies. And it actually allows you to use dual displays on your PowerBook 1 at 70. Um, so yeah, it actually is capable of outputting up to 256 colors at a 640 by 480 resolution. So yeah, even though the internal display on this machine is um, black and white or monochrome. Now it also has an expansion card that goes in the memory expansion slot inside the system and it has a special little connector uh, that connects it to this DB15 port on the side. Now that connector actually ripped off the board somehow. It was already like that when I got it. So I just had to solder it back on, and my soldering job wasn't the best, but it does indeed work just fine. And as you can see there, the two battery terminals in there. So, since neither of these has a working hard disk, I'm going to be using this uh, 
new design 3.2 gigabyte SCSI external SCSI drive. Um, this has a quantum fireball drive in it and it works just fine. So let me go ahead and get that hooked up and I will resume the video. Okay, as you can see, I have the hard disk hooked up via my uh, HDI 30 SCSI adapter, which was also sent to me by the person who sent me these machines. Um, and as you can see, I do not have the power plugged in. So first, let me go ahead and turn on the external hard disk. Wait till it initializes. All right, and it is initialized. So without the power plugged in, let me go ahead and boot up the machine. Now for those of you who are wondering, this is actually normal. And it looks like there's some line on the LCD that wasn't there yesterday, but as you can see it is booting off the external hard disk. see quite a few extensions are installed on this machine. Okay, and as you can see, we have now successfully booted up into Macintosh System 7.1. So let me go ahead and do about this Mac. As you can see, it detects it as a PowerBook 170, of course. System Software 7.1. Um, as you can see, the total memory is 8 megabytes. Now, instead of a video expansion card like that one has, this one has a memory expansion card in the slot. It is an 8 megabyte expansion, I mean, 4 megabyte expansion card, and there are also 4 megabytes of memory on board the system. So that gives it a total of 8 megabytes. Get that out of that line. Anyway, go ahead and close that. I do have a couple things on here. Um, I do have Microsoft Word on here, a couple games, MacWrite, and I actually have QuickTime Player installed, as you can see by the extensions that we're loading. I'll go ahead and open Microsoft Word real quick. I don't know what's up with this LCD line, it just appeared, it wasn't there yesterday when I used the machine. But anyway, as you can see, Microsoft Word isn't loaded. And this is a very, very sharp display. This is a um, passive, I mean, an active matrix display. And yeah, most laptops at this time did not have an active matrix display. So, yeah. So there's Microsoft Word. Go ahead and close it. Now keep note, we are still running off the battery. Let me show you that. Let me go into the battery Apple menu item here. As you can see, it still says we have a full battery. And it does say that for quite some time. Like I said, this lasts for 20 minutes. It's quite awesome. Um, we'll go ahead and play a quick game of Shuffle Puck Cafe here. Do have that installed. The line is quite annoying. I don't know why that's there. to play this with a trackball. Now this trackball is actually in perfect condition. Um, it doesn't stick or jitter around or anything. It's, it's very smooth and nice to use. Not very much for this game. But 
Anyway, that's Shuffle Puck Cafe. Quit that now. I'm gonna do a Stuff It Expander and Drop Stuff installed. Um, yeah, that's just about it. So, yeah, as you can see, we've only gone down one little tick on the battery meter. And yes, System Sleep does work. You do that. See, that line is still there. I don't understand. But anyway, System Sleep works. You just press the space bar, and we're right out of sleep. Quite cool. So that's about everything. Uh, let me see if I have anything. I do have After Dark installed. I guess I can show you that. I'll do um, Flying Toasters. Yeah, Flying Toasters works just fine. So yeah, that's the uh, first PowerBook 170. This one is actually in better condition than the other one, like I said, but um, yeah, I'll go ahead and shut this down now and we'll boot up the second PowerBook 170. And I want to show you something cool on that one, the external display. This CRT monitor here, and um, plug it in. All right, now that the uh, monitor is plugged into the power book, let's go ahead and start it up. Things appeared on the display yet, but it will in just a minute. And the display had just initialized. As you can see, it is on. We're still loading extensions over here. Now this is cool. I'm going to go ahead and open the control panels item. And I'm just going to drag it onto the other display. As you can see, it is in full color. 256 colors. That's on the internal display. You can see the second display supports 256 colors. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And what you can also do is make this display your secondary display and have a full color system. So I'm going to do that now. Um, I think it's options. Oh no. As you can see, it fits the uh, Invisio extension there. I'll just drag the menu bar over to the second display. And restart the system. And now it has switched to this display, as you can see. Well, 
Well, sorry about that. My camera actually ran out of space, so let me go ahead and boot it up again. As you can see, the tunnel vision is actually starting to come. It does happen after it's been on for a bit. But luckily, this is the one with the external display output, so I guess it's not as big a deal. Okay, and as you can see, the uh, display has gone away on here and is about to appear on here. Just like it did before. Okay, and as you can see, it has booted into a full 256 color desktop. So about this Mac, um, let's see here, go into control panels because there's a lot of color in there. Yeah, as you can see, it is a uh, full color display. Straight from the PowerBook 170. And you can drag, drag windows over, as you can see. And they will appear as black and white on the internal display as before. So that's pretty awesome. I mean, for such an old machine and such an old operating system, this was pretty nice um, technology for that for back then. Go ahead and run After Dark. Just do flying toasters. Now, as you can see, when running two displays on After Dark, it is quite a bit more laggy, but yeah, it appears in full color over here. You can see that um, they are indeed in color. And on here, they appear in standard black and white. And it's getting really laggy. Now we can go into the puzzle. Which as you can see appears as color on here. And monochrome on here. As would be expected. So yeah, full color. Quite cool. Anyway, that is, or these are the two Apple PowerBook 170 laptops. Hope you enjoyed this video.